updating you on the destruction project. It's just going to be a small update today. Um, I know I haven't updated for a bit over a week now, so I thought I'd just push out what I have, at least get it out so you guys have something new to play with. Alright, getting started. Obviously the water has been upgraded. There's now a wave system. The shader's been completely changed out. Uh, it might be a bit too realistic for the style of the game. I'm not sure. I can adjust that as we go later on. But for now, I think it's pretty cool. I like the reflections. It's hurting my performance. Uh, curious to see how it hurts you guys. I know I have a lower end computer overall for dev right now. So I'd like to see how this operates on a more modern computer. I have also added three boats. Uh, they're not quite destroyable yet, but I'm working on it. I will be adding effects as well. Um, buoyancy system is added, so obviously they act like normal boats, they bob in the waves, and so on. Uh, deformations is going to be a little bit weird for this one, because if you've ever looked up like the Titanic, for example, it's kind of a mix of deformation and fracturing, and I haven't tried to mix these two systems together yet. Uh, it, things get really complicated, because... The, basically, I'm trying to avoid having a force overlap because you'll get a lot of issues with um, the meshes not closing themselves off. You get one-sided meshes, which has already kind of been a bit of a persistent issue for me. So you can see I got window effects, splash effects added. This is a big boy. It does not move very fast. And still trying to work out the camera. My apologies for this update, it is going to be a bit more buggy than usual. I haven't had a lot of time, um, but much is probably apparent. Alright, moving on. I have added, um, in the help section, instead of the description, because if you're in this game, you already know what this is about. You don't need a description in the game. I just added a quick little change log. And this is almost more so for myself, so I can reference it instead of my phone while making these videos. So along with the new boats, I added a port area. And the first set of new models, really, that I've added since releasing the game publicly. Port objects will do exactly what you expect. Uh, shipping containers are entirely made out of metal in real life, so they deform instead of fracture. Uh, I hope that that makes sense. Um, yeah, I might change the deformation values. I don't really know, like, for a lot of the destruction stuff, I kind of do try and reference real-world physics uh, to some extent. Obviously, I, I'm not totally effective. Like, that shouldn't fracture, obviously, if it was real life. But I try to follow some standard of physical re re relevance there's not a whole lot of videos out there of shipping containers getting absolutely obliterated by missiles. Um, or TNT for that matter. You know. Um, that's besides the point. Okay, moving on. Lots of new vehicles. Lots of new vehicles. And I've got lots more to add. I was hoping to add all of them for this update. Uh, it, it was becoming daunting. For all of the new vehicles, I had to reset the transform of the wheels uh, manually. Uh, this took took me quite a bit of time. It made up a large chunk of the reason that this was delayed, actually. Not sure how much value went into that time spent, but uh, I'm quite happy with the size of this parking lot now. So, I, I guess I started adding new vehicles over here. We have the Genius car, three different colors. Uh, looks pretty smart to me. We have some like retro hatchback coupes and the classic pickup trucks. Got more like a Renault style hatchback. All of these new cars are in five colors. And yes, I might adjust the scaling on the truck. I was kind of going for a bigger truck, but this might be like too much truck. Yeah. 
I might look into that. These I'm pretty happy with, though. Uh, over everything, I'm really happy with these models. The uh, modern pickup truck. I started playing around with suspension. I'm starting to get a little bit more comfortable with the wheels. So you'll notice that tip overs can happen, which wasn't really a thing on a lot of the vehicles before. Yes, the ocean renders under the ground. I will work on that, but at the time it was just easier to make the ocean infinite. Uh, yeah. So yeah, new vehicles, lots of them, five colors. I've got buses as well. Uh, I started playing around with tandem axles. So the rear wheels are both simulated. These um, actually might end up having too much power now because of that. There goes my truck. Left that in reverse. These actually handle very nice. Like I am very happy with the updates to the handling. I will probably go back and change the old ones. But at the moment, I'm not honestly sure if I want to keep the old vehicle models in. I still have probably over 20 new vehicles to add from this pack. Uh, shout out to... Reddit user Pavel3D for making these and posting them on itch.io. I'll leave a link in the description because these vehicles were completely free. Uh, I will be donating to this guy when I have a little bit more in the ways of finances, but he deserves some thanks. These are these models are, are outstanding. Like they're they're way better than anything that I've actually paid for for this low poly style. So I'm quite happy with it. Overall, this yeah, this update wasn't huge compared to the stuff that I've released before. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, things get a little bit busy, and I've had to start working on a third-party tool relating to this game, um, just for some modeling stuff that I can't really do in the game. I'll I'll talk about that more in a later video. It might I'm probably going to be releasing this tool publicly. So yeah, more on that down the road. For now, go ahead, download 0.5.3, let me know what you guys think, complain about all the bugs that you will surely find, and the next update I will be releasing probably won't have any new features besides vehicles, and a lot of bug fixes, so, yeah, stay tuned, give me some good feedback this week, thanks guys.